past the roof, speaking the truth of the word and reaching the youth, saving souls of the old, doing God's work with bones to do. And he turning up every week and getting lit in. Nigga, the church on Sunday, you can tune in and get your fix. Turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up, turn up. It's that we can turn up, turn up. The U turn. Yes, yeah. It's time to turn. It's time to change. It's time to shift. There's some things that God has for you, but you got to turn to receive it. Somebody say amen. amen. We have heard this quote many times before. And that quote is, Mr. Lewis, that if you make one step, God will make two. Now, that's not a quote that's in the Bible, but it's a popular expression, especially in the Christian culture. Because what it suggests is that if you take a step of faith, if you make up in your mind that I'm tired of going around this mountain and I'm going to start moving towards God, that then God will in kind start moving towards you. And so sometimes God will speak to you and say, it's time to turn. See, this is why religion and tradition is so dangerous. Because tradition says that you have to be in the same place, doing the same thing, in the same way, or on the same day, in order for you to receive what God has for you. But when God is trying to do a new thing, when God is trying to take you to a new level, into a new season, and give you a new vision, sometimes God forces you to make a U-turn. He has to let pain to speak. And pain is usually not God's first choice. God will send people to you. Come here, let me talk to you. God will send people to you. He will send friends. He will send counselors. He will send mentors. He will send preachers. He will send a word to you. But if you ignore the word that he's trying to get you, you leave him no other option but to let you experience pain. You see, family, People never change when they never feel the consequences of their decision. The Bible says he came to himself. This is the beginning of being self-aware. And you can't turn if everybody else is always default, at fault. If you keep blaming everybody else for where you are, you will never turn. So the first thing you have to do is you have to admit your mistake to you. This is when you have to sit down by yourself and take a deep intrinsic look at yourself and say to yourself, I messed up. Here it is. You have too much anointing in you for things not to change. You have too much anointing in you for you to just sit idly by and let the devil do whatever he wants to do in your house. You have too much anointing in you. <laughs> it, it don't mean you're not going to go through anything. But I've come to tell you that you have been delivered and you have power and you have authority. You have the victory already. But you got to believe it. God is a God of seasons. And in every season of your life, there is a blessing, Mary, if you just look at it, if you just try to find it. There's a blessing in the winter. There's a blessing in the spring. There's a blessing in the fall. If you look at that thing differently, then you will see your blessing. My, 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 uh, the other day when I, when I went to pick my daughter up from school, uh, Palmer, I, I went to pick her up. And, and when I went to pick her up, her teacher ran out to me and said, um, Mr. Hall, uh, London didn't have a good day. Didn't do anything bad. Uh, but she's uh, uh, upset today uh, because somebody said something about her that wasn't true. And so I told her, whenever somebody says something about you not true, come to me. I said, cool, the game, thank you uh, for letting me know about that. And so when my daughter got in the car, I said, listen, baby girl, uh, you, 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 you're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, you, you, uh, you're not in elementary school anymore. You're in middle school. Welcome to the real world. I said to her, I, I said, baby, from now on, for the remaining balance of your life, there are going to be folk that are going to talk about you. I said, come here, baby. Let me, let me school you right through here. For the remaining balance of your life, 
there's going to be people that are going to lie on you. They're going to say things about you that are totally not true. And most of them, when they do it, they're going to do it behind your back and not in your face. So this is what you got to do, baby. You don't have time to focus on things that you can't change or you can't control. You cannot allow what people say about you to dictate your tomorrow. You got too much living to do. So I said to my baby Joshua, I said to her, I said, this is what I want you to do. When that go down in the future, if daddy is here or if daddy is gone, I want you to look them right in the face and tell them these words. Like my daddy said, my God is undefeated. So I'm going to stand silent and I'm going to let my God fight my battles. Goodbye.